That greater power is what? Christ in you. Oh, glory. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. I like it how I put it over here. For 19 is going to be where we focus on because that's where I got the message. For the earth is the expectation of the creation, waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. Listen to Weymouth's translation, verse 19. For all creation, gaze it eagerly. As if with an outstretched neck is waiting and longing to see the manifestation of the sons of God. That's what's happening with climate change. That's what's happening with a lot of physical things, dilemmas that we see. Hey, even COVID. It's a sickness that needs to be swallowed up too. Cancer. See, that, that we, we, we haven't set our sights yet. We missed the mark. We haven't set our sights. Our sights are low. If we get a good job, that's, that's good enough for us. Brand new car, new house. <laughs> Am I right? <clears throat> no, we're not aiming. We're not aiming. Man, we ain't shooting for the stars. I'm shooting for heaven. Hallelujah. We got to get there. There's a purpose that has to be fulfilled by us. And God wants to cause us to know what that purpose is. And that purpose is related to a people who exemplify the very character and nature of the Son of God himself. That's Jesus. He's the prototypical. we got to hold fast in the head. Amen? They are to be, and you're going to hear me say this a lot, they are to be conformed to the image and the likeness of him. This will be a people with authority to complete the will of God towards mankind, according to the scriptures. I'm just giving you my overview, my summation of it, right? This will be a people with authority to complete the will of God towards mankind. This people, as the true body of Christ, are set forth to bring creation into union with God. I just told you, Genesis 1 came out of him, right? And Adam broke, brought a breach. Mm -hmm. yep. And so God has been working in reverse like a good author. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To bring it into consummation, mm -hmm. to climax. Mm -hmm. We're closers. <laughs> huh? Yeah, yeah, that's what we do. We're closers. It says, uh, this is what I wrote. This, to bring, it, uh, bring it creation to the union of God. This is the high calling and the prize to be obtained. This is the plan of the Father to manifest that all enemies are under the feet of Christ. Mm -hmm. yeah. Through a corporate rule of Christ. So the manifestation of the sons of God is a corporate rule of Christ. It's the ongoing incarn incarnation of Christ. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes, yes. That's what the Bible says. That's why 1 uh, Corinthians talks about that uh, he must reign till all of this in it become a footstool. Because his goal is to take the kingdoms of this world and to give it to the Father. You understand what I'm saying? So the, uh, this is the plan of the Father to manifest that all enemies under the feet of Christ through a corporate rule of Christ. This reign of Christ will continue until God becomes all in all. You read in Ephesians 1 and 22 and 23, it has to happen, folks. If he, Paul didn't just write to the church in Ephesus to try, just try to impress them. He was giving them a blueprint. He was giving them prophetic, apocalyptic insight into what the plan of God was concerning those who have been brought out of darkness into his marvelous light. That is what he said in one of the statements he made over there, and I use it consistently. I'm going to keep using it until we can get it in our belly. He said that he has put all things under his feet and gave him to be head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of him that filleth all in all. The church. Oh, my God, if y'all get this. This is not a cute servant. This is the magna carta of the kingdom. 
Magna Carta. Yeah. Carte Blanche. <laughs> this should be the agenda of every human being, specifically kingdom related people, apostolic, prophetic, the elaborate churches. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> That's what we should do. Not just a few of us up top. Amen. Right? The anointing is supposed to go from the head to the beard to the feet to the garments. Man, I wish I could dice that up for you. Because everybody want to be at the head, but there's enough anointing coming down to the feet. And I'm here to tell you, just like it was in the temple, the further it gets from the head, the deeper it gets. So everybody want to go. That's another part of the inversion. If I could just get up at the top of the ladder. There's an anointing that God wants to have. And I'm going to tell you, all of the events that we see with our physical eyes, all of the things that's taking place in our society as a whole, is leading us to the end of one age to the next. Church as we knew it. Right? Mankind has been brought to the place where he is ready for the full manifestation of Christ within him. What a, what a thought. You got the Father, the Godhead, has taken residence in me with all my background and all the things I do. He has chosen, just like in the original incarnation, to lower himself. And in there among humanity in his, in his first advent, and he continuously go through the process and knowing that we're the frame of dust. I'm here to tell you, we're in an age, we're in a season, same thing, where everything must be gathered up in Christ. And I think somebody brought it out last week about things in heaven and things on earth are being gathered in Christ. Not his last name. There's an activity of the Spirit. That's what Christ is. Amen. Jesus ascended. Christ remained. It's the characteristic and the nature of a people that we're being brought into. And that's why teaching and preaching is important. Progressive truth is important. Revelation is important. We got to be dialed in on another frequency. It's important. We need to have our eyes anointed with eyes out. We need to have our ears. Come on, y'all. Our ears have to be pierced. Our heart has to be circumcised in that order. If not, the blind going to keep leading the blind. And then everybody going to end up in the same ditch. And I'm here to tell you the church is in the same ditch in our thinking. And we're just so temporal with our perception. We have no eternal value. And we live for instant gratification. But God has a plan. And that plan doesn't include him removing us from this terra firma. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sorry, rapture people. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you, if you look up the word, even the dictionary lets you know that it's a misconstrued word. Mm -hmm. It means to be uh, exuberant about God. Mm -hmm. It means to be excited about God. Mm -hmm. You can be raptured, you ain't got to leave there. Mm -hmm. Philip was raptured, mm -hmm. he didn't leave. Mm -hmm. Paul was raptured, 2 Corinthians 12, he didn't leave. It means to be caught up. To be caught up, to be seized, to be snatched. When's the last time you've been snatched? Mm. I ain't talking about your appetite. I'm talking about, about I'm talking about you were sleeping and the Lord snatched you and told you to get up and go to this verse. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Talking about it in common. Some of y'all look like me. I don't like I ain't never had one of them. <laughs> I've been saying for 10 years, I ain't never had God snatch me from nothing. If the devil can snatch you, I mean, come on. Come on. He, he wants to snatch you. Yeah, he wants to snatch you more than you ever, ever want to know. You bought with the price. Once you understand you ain't your own, you can have those snatching moments. <laughs> The rapture moments where he can put his claws into you and seize you. Amen. On 
the inside of you and snatch that heart that's on the inside of us because that's that's what he wants to do. So God has no plan to remove man from this sphere of his habitation, but instead to join earth's sphere with the heavenly realm. That's what the manifestation of the sons of God is about his prayer. His prayer has been what? On earth as it is in heaven. Yeah. <clears throat> but the first fruit of it is through a people. That's the elect of God. And it won't happen in institutional church. That's why I told you you can be born in the kingdom and lost in religion. Yeah. That's why I hate religion. I don't hate the people in it, but I hate the systems. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's the system mm -hmm. that has hurt us. That's why we can't get it together. That's why, man, 40 jubilees, 2,000 years is a long time not to get it right. Mm -hmm. So God intended, God's intent is to deliver us from this present Oh, God's intent is not to deliver us from this present age or this present aeon. It's a segment of time doing some type of escapism or secret rapture. But it is to empower his sons and daughters to live on earth, on his earth created for us with the purpose of fulfilling his original mandate in Genesis 1.28. God has never backed off of his original intent. Fruitful. Multiply. Replenish, subdue. subdue, have dominion. You need to know that five. That's your goal. You get married, fruitful, multiply, replenish. Now, it's not carnal, those five. But we think fruitful is having kids. No, no. No, there should be something tangible in your union. 